Question 9 is our usual transformation style question. Um, part A, we're asked on the grid to rotate shape A 180 degrees about the point 1, 1. So I'm going to mark that point 1, 1. I'm going to take out some tracing paper. I'm going to cover the shape. And what I'm going to do is I want to trace the shape that I'm going to rotate. So I'm going to get the tracing paper out. And we're going to trace over the shape it gives us. Doesn't need to be perfect, just good enough. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hold our pencil down over the point that we've marked and we're going to turn the tracing paper. So, turning that tracing paper 180 degrees. Now, mine is going to go a little bit off, but that's because I can't hold it down. Turn it 180 degrees, just make sure that the points are still. Up. So that would be a 90 degree turn. Once more, I'm just, the corners of the tracing paper actually to help me uh, get 180 degrees. So that's, that's 180 degrees. Make sure that's lined up where it should be. And you can see where the tracing paper has moved the shape to. So what I'm going to do is move away, move away that tracing paper. And now I can move the shape. So. So take that down to there, that to there, and that to there. Finally, one last check, just bring it back over and make sure that we're 180 degrees. It's a little bit off, and that's just from the tracing paper. The method is sound. Now, the next part, we're asked on the grid to enlarge triangle B by a scale factor of 3 from the center 0, 0. So, the center is going to be 0, 0, that's where we're going to enlarge from, and the scale factor is 3. Now, this is literally an exercise in counting. So, if I start at the center 0, 0, and I want to get to this vertex, I need to decide how, how do I get there. I go 1, 2, 3 to the right, and 1 up. So, I went 3 right, and I went 1 up. Now, if I need to enlarge that by a scale factor 3, well, now I'm going to go 9 to the right and 3 up. So, 9 to the right is going to be here. 1, 2, 3 up is going to be here. And now I'm actually ready to draw the shape. I don't need to do the same for all the other vertices. All I needed was a starting point. So now, if this side here is 2, and I've enlarged it by a scale factor of 3, the length of my new shape is going to have to be 6. So, 2, 4, 6. The top of the triangle here is 1. That means the new top is going to have to be 3. And then finally, just complete the triangle. Now, that's the question completed. But I would always say to my students, make sure you check your answer by drawing the ray lines back through corresponding vertices and ensuring that they all converge the center of the enlargement. So I'm drawing some ray lines back through corresponding vertices and I can see that they all converge on the center which means I should have done that problem absolutely right.